What's up, everybody? My name is Nicole. If you're new here, if you're new here, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, be down with the gang, 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 So, this is either my second or third time filming this video because I have to, like, like, yeah, I really had to sit here and, like, gather myself. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I just want to say that this is going to be a longer video so that you can know in the beginning. So if you don't want to watch the video, don't watch the video. But this is going to be a longer video. Uh, I'm doing this. I did my the party chop, obviously, next. I did that last night, which was the 28th. Today is the 29th. Uh, about Maya, Mia... Maya, Micah, whatever, Stouffer, I'll put it down, uh, like, her name should be in a title and, like, tagged or something like that, like, hashtag. I'm gonna try to start this off, like, as professional as possible. So, what I'll... <laughs> I, I took some notes, y'all, so I'm going to sit here and go through the notes so that I can be on topic for y'all. First one, before we even get into this video, is about family channels. People are like, dude, this is why I don't like family channels. This is why I don't support family channels. They don't do nothing but exploit their kids, blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. Um... This particular person, Micah, Mika, whatever, exploiting her adoptive son, it's not the so, same. I don't know how I'm going to edit this video, so I'm going to say it again. People are talking about they have an issue with folks putting their kids online. I noticed that all of these people that have issues with folks putting their kids online don't have kids. When you have kids, you're going to want to share your kids' journeys. You're going to want to give updates. You're going to want your your kid like that's that's weird within itself to have a whole channel about you like beauty channels, celebrity gossip channels. That's different, but like it's weird to have a lifestyle channel or a family channel without a family, or have a lifestyle channel and you never put your kid in any of your videos. Like that's just already weird to a lot of people. Like because even if I did a lifestyle channel, my kids are still a part of my life. So, you might see them here and there, but to not have them on my channel at all, as if I'm walking around here and don't have four kids, like, that's weird. So, yeah. Also, and a lot of people that's like, well, don't put your kids on the internet. Like, that's just weird to me. My, for one, my son loves being on uh, the camera. Now, granted, he does not know that he's getting recorded and it's going to be on YouTube. He has not fathomed that yet. But... Crystal, who is nine, knows what YouTube is. My kids come get me and be like, Mom, Mom, record record this and put this on your channel. Record that. Like, so, some kids like being on YouTube. Like, granted, some kids don't like it. And when they don't want to be on your channel, you don't record them. Like, that's just common sense. But to sit here and tell somebody that, we're parents, like, oh, my gosh, you're so disgusting that you all put your kids on a channel. But yet you have your cat on a channel and your dog on a channel. Why? Because that's your baby. So, and then, and I don't want to hear nothing like, well, it's not the same. You can't remember, like, like a pet dog and a pet, I was going to say pig, cat, or like these people like actual babies it's like fur babies so that's all they say so no one's telling y'all not to put them on there and it have came out that it was some little white girl that was a, and i say little white girl because i don't remember her name i just remember that she had a dog and she got i think she had like millions of subscribers and it came to find out that she was abusing that dog like she wasn't treating the dog right so it's the same concept so you can't sit here and say oh well i don't want any uh y'all shouldn't put your pets on the uh internet because you know like why would you put your pets on there like, like your pet know that they're getting recorded like uh, uh, come 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 on come on just 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 stop just stop yeah you, you sound crazy like it sounds crazy to me for you to be able to be like, oh, well, because these families are so fake. A lot of other stuff is so fake. But we don't sit here and tell them not to be on the internet, do we? Um, 
but yeah and i'm a like i said i have a family channel my child has autism and i speak about his autism and dad speak about his autism a little bit and y'all will see him on a day in the life y'all will see him in the updates um about him about jackson i mean y'all see them playing with a brothers and sisters and stuff like that like i said I don't really know what to tell y'all other than if you don't like family channels then don't watch just like if i don't want to sit here and watch somebody take pictures of their dog all day i'm i'm not gonna watch like i'm not gonna follow but i'm not gonna be like oh my god why did you put your dog on the internet like oh my god it's just and yeah, for people like oh well, it's just my little fur baby like oh my god isn't she gorgeous no i feel like it's just a dog but you don't understand how people feel about the animals until you get a animal you don't understand certain things until you have a child so until you have a child please do me a favor and shut the all the way up forever with that bull a day in a life where people want to sit here and watch people that can relate to because i yeah i do youtube but i'm a small channel and i um uh, yeah i do youtube but i'm a small channel and i actually do still watch youtube like i watch youtube that I can relate to like the only other YouTube that I don't watch that I can't relate to watch family channels uh, and it kind of really don't be family channels like the people that I watch they're more so like it's more so kind of like my channel it's more so about me but I do have a family so if I'm talking about myself I'm going to eventually talk about the people in my family uh, that's not why I started my channel I started my channel to document my kids so if you say that that's exploding your kids or well I guess that's what I was doing but I don't want to lose no footage of my kids growth and development and their updates and stuff like that a lot of people like to watch that type of stuff also a lot of people like to and i'm one of those people that like to see what well, how's my kid developing compared to this kid what are they doing to help their kid develop over here versus what i'm doing and that's hence why i started you know i put the autism in there because we were doing some we have a whole autism playlist so we do sit here and tell what we have learned with autism because autism has changed. It hasn't changed like far as with the diagnosis. It has changed far as with more help and more things like available for you. But it's still kind of like you have to piece together and figure out all those things that's available to you. And like we kind of talk about that on some of our videos. So it's kind of like an all around channel. So I watch family channels. I watch uh, Jackie Aina. I watch... Tasha K, which is a gossip channel. You, I, I watch a lot of other YouTubers other than family vloggers. But I have wanted to say that everybody that does family channels or family vlogging, they're not doing it just because, oh, well, they're not doing it how she did it. She, If you even pay attention to her channel, she don't even really vlog what her other kids are doing she just vlogged this child because she helped and i'm not gonna say his name on this video uh i know y'all probably three four minutes in here i'm not gonna say his name in this video simply because it's a child like why and then it's a child that they sat here and gave back like bro nah so i'm not gonna say his name in this video i will change clothes in this video because like i said i filmed some of it last night and i filmed some of it today uh i don't know what damn put it up anyway y'all i have to redirect because i'm like it's some people that feels as if that's her child and that's they child and i really so much and like for the people that's gonna be the comments like well i don't know why y'all reactors are talking about her or why you're just talking about her because her husband she have said this well it took us a few months for him to get on board so pretty much you like talked him into doing this like you said in the beginning that your husband didn't want to do this like she said that and i don't know if his name is uh james jim tim i don't know what his name is uh i know i've seen some people talk about what they look like i'm not gonna talk about how anybody look because i mean they can't help what they look like like i don't even understand what that has to do with the price and rice in china which it's this child so yeah so i'm not gonna sit here and discuss on what they look like other like they talk about their appearance it's not like how they look as humans and how, how they look as people like to me this is evil af like it, it's a bittersweet because y'all have been already treating him different anyway from the rest of your kids so i mean maybe it's best for him that he goes somewhere else 
but what really grinds everyone gears is the fact uh, and everybody's like, well, well, some people are like giving her like, oh, well, she gave him back and when she realized that it was too much. Bro, negative. That's not how they work. Like, like it's not even just the simple fact that this child has autism and she figured out that she, he had autism or have autism. Saying that my child has autism was just nothing that we knew when he was born. It's not, it's not, it's not a blood test that can give you when the kid is born. The issue that a lot of people have for those of you that don't understand is the fact that this person, this devil, have sat here and she herself researched and found and it was like, well, I'm a nurse. I, I could take on any disabilities. Like, you know, let's just say there was 100 disabilities and we picked 99 of them. You went and picked this little boy out like he was a pair of Timberlands or something like he was a, a pair of shoes like you wouldn't pick this child out like he was just a pair of shoes and like now that he's not aesthetically pleasing to you and he's just not getting on board like you know what he's just too much you know what I'm gonna do the ultimate caring and I'm just gonna send him back and like yeah okay you know what thank you like that's 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 not how it work you went ahead and selected this little boy and what was I gonna say here like I had a topic that I was gonna say like her with her talking about she was a nurse and this and a, and a third. Make this make sense to me, y'all. In one breath, you're sitting here saying that, oh, well, I'm a nurse and I have experience with this. And so what's the difference between you being a nurse and this other person being a medical professional? Like, you are a medical professional too. And that's what I was going to touch on too. I, I pray to God that this person is not still a nurse. Because if you will sit here and do your own supposedly child like this, it's no telling what you would do to a patient. Like, I, I don't need you helping me, nobody, none of my loved ones. And the sad part is, there's a lot of y'all out there that really is in a nursing field just because y'all know that it's a guaranteed job, it's a guaranteed check. Like, why are you even in the field to help people? Like, I don't even understand that, but I digress. The other thing that I was gonna sit here and touch on is the fact that people are like, well, she's like, she want to respect her privacy. People have a problem with that. You, people have a problem with this person talking about this little boy privacy. And now you don't want to sit here and say all of the medical stuff because you have already put out in the universe and into the world that he had a brain tumor. He severely have issues. And I guess he's not never going to grow out of it. This, that, and the third. And y'all have already put out there that he has autism. So what more can you i i just don't understand what what, what can be worse like like what what more can it, the damage is already done so you might as well have just went ahead and said whatever it was that was going on unless they legally they probably legally cannot say what's going on because they're legally giving that kid back so that's that's why they haven't said what else is going on with the little boy it's not because they're respecting his privacy it's because they legally can't and they legally just don't want to basically like it's like the, i wouldn't be surprised if the who, the D, the not DHS y'all y'all. I wouldn't be surprised if the adoption agency is like you can no longer talk about anything else that's going on with him. Now that y'all figure this out, since y'all haven't put it on your channel, don't put it on your channel. Don't let the world know this because it's not it's not gonna be anybody with this girl had all year y'all. And I later on in this video because like I said, hopefully you can catch up and keep up. But later on in this video, I sit here and say how um. Uh, I had unsubscribed from her. No, I didn't. So when I went and looked her up to see how many subscribers she had so I could do this video, she still have 715,000 subscribers. Uh, I went ahead and unsubscribed. I thought I had been unsubscribed from her, but I had subscribed to her simply because she was talking about, not even for the adoption part, y'all, it's because she was, she put autism and artistic and all this stuff in her titles. And when I had found out my son has autism, People naturally want to see how, like, what level, because I don't know, like, he has severe autism, and it's another person on here, I'm not going to say his channel, but he has a little girl that has, like, severe autism. Julian has mild autism. It's not, like, high-functioning, I wish it was high-functioning, but he has malfunctioning autism. So, they're on two different scales, so what, what might work for someone with severe autism is different than somebody with, like, mild autism. And I really haven't found no videos out there with kids with male autism. And also, I want to clear up this. Just because Billy Joe Bob and Karen Kid 
both have autism does not mean it's autism on the same like spectrum it does not mean that oh well you have this so you can relate to this and that. like no like that's not how that works and people talk about exploding and you know um her talking about milk like people talk about these family channels and i get how people can feel about a family channel seeing that this has happened but y'all are not gonna come to my channel and find me putting a camera on my son's face while he's having a temper tantrum, while he's having a, a meltdown. Because why? Like, if I sit here and say that my son acted a whole clown and it was a whole circus at a show, at, at a store, that's what it was. I don't sit here and have to prove that to y'all. Why would I sit here and put that out there like that? And it's people that have problems with people. But well, why would you put your kid potty training? Because people need potty training tips. That's why people put their kids on here potty training. Like, I just, I just want y'all to realize what y'all are saying before you sit here and say it. Like, YouTube is ran by Google. People Google how to potty train. People Google potty training. People Google how to put LED lights on the back of the screen. Someone has to make the content for people to know, like, and to people to learn or to help somebody. That's the whole point of why some people do it. Also, to document that kid's journey. So, yeah. I mean, it's certain stuff that come essentially tell you not to put on YouTube, but it's some stuff that people do put on YouTube. I have a whole custody case going on on YouTube that I put on YouTube because there's a lot of people that feel like, oh, well, you have to be a sorry, a sick mother to lose custody of your kids. Not necessarily. Like, these courts are different. I put that on there just like Strong Mom Chrissy put on there. Like, you, you never know how these courts and judges will sit here and look at stuff. And especially if it's a man judge. Like, it's, it's just a lot of variables that go into life. And people put that out there to help someone that might be going through the same thing that might feel alone. So, I don't even understand what's this backlash. Well, as a matter of fact, I do seeing what we're dealing with now. Um... Uh, I think that's pretty much all of what I had wanted to cover in the beginning of this other than to say that this is a long video. If you do not want to watch long, a long video or a longer video, do not watch this video. Like, I, like, don't watch the video. And also, if you want somebody that's going to sit here and be like, I mean, I understand what is going on and, you know, I understand why she shopped around and I understand that she gave him back because when you actually are in that situation, it is like just, oh my God, too much. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say that. I'm not going to sit here and say none of this stuff. I'm going to have to edit some of this stuff out because, like, I really feel like pulling up on this person. And I feel, and it will balance is not the answer. Like, I really feel like pulling up because this little, this little boy didn't ask to be here and this little boy dang shit didn't ask to be in your family. You went and sought out and picked him up like he was buying groceries. Like, you know what? He'd be a cute accessory. Matter of fact, and also, these, this is why people don't like family channels. Like, this is why. You sat here and had 4,000 subscribers. Then once you start talking about your adoption uh, journey, and once you start talking about this child with autism and stuff like that, that's what grew her channel to a dang a million subscribers. So that's, this is somebody that explo exploded the, uh, exploded the uh, little boy. Not just, you know, I'm talking about what's going on in my life and I'm going to sit here and talk about him or I want to document what's going on, the updates so people can know what to do. Like, it's, it's, it's a difference and it's a thin line. Also, before I sit here and go into the next clip, like I said, this is going to be a longer video. I'm going to sit here and explain why people are so mad about the fact that she sat here and sent, sent this little boy back. When you adopt a child... It, see, it's different. See, you can foster a child. Foster and adoption are not the same thing. And I'm going to kind of break that down a little bit, but I'll do another video if y'all want me to do another video, breaking it more down in, de uh, in detail, in depth, or whatever. Let's just say foster care and fostering a child, you can send that child back and you know that. Like, if, if you think that this child is going to, you know, be like a certain way and you get them for a couple of months and it's just not getting better you could be like hey this is not working out for me in my household and send that child back to like a different household that this child might fit into but when you adopt a child 
you that is your child when you adopt a child you can change that child name you can take that the child birth parents off you can do whatever you want to with that child because legally that is your child so i feel like what this person should have done instead of sitting here legally fully adopting this child is to be a foster parent first why did you have to go overseas to sit here and adopt this child when there's people in the united states I and mean, kids in the united states that need help you know what i'm saying like it, it just makes make it make sense yeah anyway i just want to go ahead and tell y'all while we 10 11 minutes in here that this might be a 30 40 minute video because i'm not going to keep breaking this down and breaking it out and breaking it out i like to do a thorough reaction a thorough review a thorough my opinion a, a thorough if you don't like it i don't give a see y'all next clip this video some people might find it funny some people might find it offensive either which way i 100 percent don't give a just let you know. So it might be well, it's more than likely going to be some offensive stuff said on this video. So you might as well not even watch if you're like a Mika Stover, 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 Stove Top, whatever her last name is, fan, supporter. This video is going to offend you because I'm offended. My child is offended. I just feel like you was fake in the first place. And I feel like you was using this little boy as a storyline in the first place anyway. Alright, so, with that being said, make sure y'all hit the thumbs up, make sure y'all share this video out, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I usually don't do videos like this. I usually, matter of fact, when I do reaction videos, they're normally never negative, just because that's like, I don't know, it just puts you in a negative space, and then it's like, if you don't have nothing nice to say about no... If you don't have nothing nice to say about someone, you just might as well not even say nothing at all. It's kind of how I was taking these YouTube streets. But when you sit here and go looking for a child with a disability and you get a child with a disability, then you get, you know what, this is a little bit too hard. I didn't, you know, I didn't sign up for this. You know what, I want to take this child with a disability back. I just kind of look at you different. Like I look at you, I look at you like, mm. I look at you like something I can't say on these here YouTube streets. That, that's how I look at you. I look at you like a waste of human life. It's how I look at you. So let me get into the video on the backstory or how of how I even found this person channel. I found this person channel maybe a year ago, back in the day. Um, and guess what popped up when I found this person channel? This little boy. And the fact that this little boy has autism. And the fact that my child has autism. So I watched the whole adoption and you know all these fake tears and this fake storyline and this fake stuff um i ain't gonna say i watched all of it because it went at what at what point do people that have actually uh subscribed to this person at what point do you realize that she's just using this little boy for a check like at what at what point do you realize that like because after a while when see this channel is called black sheep family and autism just because we're black sheep we're a family channel and one of our kids have autism so we're going to speak about autism here and there our whole channel is not just julian with his autism we don't just solely film julian with his autism you're not going to catch me filming julian just matter of fact just yesterday i went and took julian to get some more shoes why because his uh shoes are too small Julian acted a whole donkey in that store. He had a whole circus, a whole circus show going on. Like I'm so mad, I can't even formulate the words that I'm, I'm trying to sit here and say. It was a whole circus show, but guess what? Did I sit here and think to myself, "Oh well, Julian's having a meltdown. Let me record it, y'all. Y'all see, like this is how it is having a child with autism. What? Like, what? Like, see, at that point." I can't watch you. I start watching this little girl when she's in your little girl because ain't no grown person going to sit here and go out to China. You, you, you took your whole self to China. Like, you went to China to find a child that was basically nobody wanted, basically. So, you, you went over there and you did that, right? Right. You went to China to find a child. You knew his... Matter of fact, he's supposed to have a brain tumor at one point. 
Uh, and for the people that are fans of this channel, I start watching because uh, to me, you just, I start watching when she sat here and took this little boy TV and everything out his room like he was a stepchild simply because he has autism. That's when I start watching because I have a child with autism. We unbought this boy three or four TVs before Julian stopped messing up his TVs. Like, why would I sit here and make you feel different than what you probably already feel in your brain? Like, I just don't get that. But this little girl went over here and got this child from China. Knowing that he had a brain tumor, knowing that he had autism, knowing that the people, the doctors are like, man, this, this is going to be a tough case. This is going to be a tough kid. Like, you might not want to uh, do this. We might, you know, you might want to try and look into this and that. For you to sit here and say on your video, on your platform, on your big stage that, you know, I heard that and it just went out the other ear because I would never bring my child back. Here we are three years later, and he, he's right back to wherever he's at. Like, And I'm not going to say his name simply out of respect of the child, but, bro, you was a whole 304 out here for that. Like, you, you really are. Like, yeah, the little boy is better off from being with y'all and y'all household. Like, yeah, he's better off because obviously he was too good for you. But for the people that think it's cute, fun, and it's a game, and it's a like a fashion statement to get a kid with autism, like it's not a fashion statement. Like no one wants their kid to have autism. A child with autism does not want to have autism. It's a learning process. It's a learning curve. We have to figure out how to potty train our son. We have to figure out the stuff that he eat, wants to eat. And that's another thing. My our son Julian, he don't have like one a uh, a uh, uh, what do you call it a sensory to like wanting stuff in his mouth and his hands and food and stuff like that but how would you feel if somebody taped your fingers together like for one he already have a disability so the the most logical thing the child thought to do is since this child won't quit sucking his thumb is to tape his fingers together and how is him sucking his thumb even bothering you in the first place ma'am like like please let me know matter of fact don't let me know because i bro that ain't even my child, but the fact that you can sit here and do a whole nother human being like that shows me what type of person you are. So I said, when I sat here and watched you sit here in every other video, if you if you wanna if you wanna see, I know a lot of you guys are here because of such and such, and if you're here for such and such, make sure you leave a thumbs up and make sure you this and make sure you're that. Like your whole brand is about this child and his autism, but you know what? Now he he. He's too much for us. Like, we made all the money off of him, but guess what? Now he's just too much. And you know what? It bothers me more than it should bother him because I had to deal with him for three years. Even though I went out here and hand-selected and picked this little boy like I was picking my next Range Rover. So now that I see that, oh, you know what? I can't fix his autism and it's a little stressful for me and it's not in my cookie-cutter picture, you know, him and his autism. You know what? I'm done. I, I think I'm... Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. It's a hard note for me. Um, I think my credit score went down like 10 points for this. And like, I just I, I just can't no more. Like, I don't nobody want to see your little tattoo tears. Because you decided to go adopt the child. And then you decided to go return the child. As if he was like, as if he was the wrong fit. But you know what? He was the wrong fit for your family. Why don't you even go get him? Like, I, I just don't even understand that. Like, you are really a cruel person. And I never really make videos like this. But seeing the fact that my child has autism... I, I, me and my husband didn't sit here and wasn't over here like oh man Julian got autism man he's not going to be able to do anything in life you know what let me let's see can we sign over our rights and just put him up for adoption and then with your old mud duck mouth head self you gonna sit here and say oh well if it was one of my other kids we would just have to figure it out Oh, so since he's not your biological child, y'all not going to figure it out. So since he's not your biological child, you know what? You can go back to where you came from. Like, that's more traumatic than even coming to get him. Why did you waste this little boy time? So, and then, how are you sitting here saying that this little boy, oh, well, this is what he wants. He told us this is what he wants. How? Did he sign it to you? Like, how, how, how can someone that's nonverbal tell you what he wants? Like, make it make sense, Sally. Make it make sense, Sarah. Make it make sense. Like, it, it does not make sense. Uh, Mika, stove, top, 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 top. Yep, but I really didn't have nothing to say. I didn't have nothing positive to say other than the fact that uh, you're a trash person. I hope they actually do counsel you. Uh, 
I've been didn't subscribe to you. I've been unsubscribed from you. I subscribed to you thinking that you was going to give somebody something of suspense like, you know, an autism journey, tips. Like some people show kids. Most parents, keyword parents and real parents, what they do with their YouTube platform if they do have kids with autism is they sit here and say, well, this food works for this person. The gaps died did or didn't work for this person. These are some good autism. Uh, some these are some good uh, sensory toys for kids with autism. Uh, this weighted blanket work for kids with autism. This is how we have to handle with this, and this is something that we do because there's no book or manual or how you're supposed to deal with a child that has autism. Like you just never, you just it's a whole learning process, and the kid is supposed to be your guide. Not the key is supposed to fit in your lifestyle. Julian does not take pictures. It's a lot of stuff that Julian don't do. Julian has a speech delay. Julian's supposed to have a learning delay. We're working with Julian with potty training. Like, Julian had to have orthopedics. It, Julian's going to have to have ABA. Like, it's a lot of stuff that you have to do with a child with a disability. But do that mean that you didn't give up on your child? Do that mean that this child sat here and asked for this disability? And, like, with you being a whole nurse out here, like, you should know of all people that it could be something as small as a gene in this baby brain that makes him have autism. Like, he could just be missing a gene. Like, no one knows why kids have autism. So, the fact that you knew this, and because I, I don't want to hear none of that mush map stuff, like, well, we didn't know it was going to be this hard. They told you that he was severely, he had brain tumor, and they told you that he had uh, severe autism. And you said this on your own video. I have seen too many videos where you're sitting here at your own mouth saying, well, you know, we wouldn't, we would never send him back and blah, 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 this and blah, 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 and blah, 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 And we're here now. And y'all talk about some, oh, well, we put him back to the adoption agency and we, 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 we went through and we rehomed him. I didn't know that this little boy that didn't ask to be in America got treated worse and we treat our dog, like... We don't even sit here, like, re rehoming. And if y'all are new to this channel, just came by this video, at least our puppy that we got for Julian said so he could have some type of emotional support or, like, an autism dog. It, so Julian can have a friend. Have a friend. That dog is a part of our family. So we, we're not considering rehoming our dog, but yet you could rehome a whole kid. Like, who, What? And you really sat here and got on your whole camera and sat here and cried, fake tattoo tears. Like, I feel like your whole storyline was a lie. Well, no, it wasn't. Because your whole storyline was a child that you went and got to bring more subscribers. You got your subscribers and now he done his a job for you and your family. So now you want to dispose of him as if he's less than a dog. Like, he's some type of trash. Like, I don't know, y'all. I just don't have nothing good to say uh, about this person. I don't have nothing good to say about the situation. If y'all out here, if you're out here looking to adopt a child, make sure that you want. And I really feel like these people shouldn't even be able to adopt no more kids. Like, y'all don't need to adopt no more kids. Y'all have four kids, and I guess uh, he didn't fit in y'all little perfect uh, picture, so y'all decided to give him back. Don't have no more kids, because how, how do your kids feel about this? Like, this has been their little brother for three years of their life, and... Now, all of a sudden, like, he's gone because he didn't meet. And then you go on vacation. What? So, well, well, what? Bye, y'all. Y'all, I just don't understand how you sit here. Like, that's just so evil to me, y'all. That's, that's just, that, that just, it's just evil. Like, somebody, somebody, somebody somewhere, like, it's just evil. Like, just, just go and... Why are you on YouTube still? Like, I don't, why are you even on YouTube? Because this little boy was your whole storyline. This, this is your whole storyline. They already talk about family YouTubers because they be like, well, why? Why do I don't understand these family channels that sit here and document their family? Like, um, we don't document our family just to have content in a face. If you have a channel and you have kids that you don't never put on camera, it's kind of weird if you never sit here and talk about your actual family. Like, I can see if I had a beauty channel, but if I have a lifestyle channel, which is kind of like my channel, it's, I have a family. So, it's, I'm a black sheep. My husband a black sheep. We are black sheep of the family. Then my husband and our two boys are our kids. So guess what? If you see our fours on here, it's going to be a family channel. So guess what? 
Julian has artism, so that's just hence the name Black Sheep Family and Artism. But this channel is mainly to do with me. Like y'all, that's why y'all see a lot of these videos like this, the solo videos, that's reaction videos, yes, some day in the lives, yes, some cleaning videos. I get a little bit of everything from over here. So I can't just sit here. I, I, it's kind of a family, but then again, it's kind of lifestyle, but people will put me in a boat as a family channel because y'all will see our kids on here. And for the people that don't understand why people make family channels, people make family channels so they can document their kids life like so that you could document that journey so they could go back and they could look and see what they were doing at this point in their life at this point in their life and at that point in their life so yeah but of course if a kid don't want to be recorded kind of like my older son he don't like to be recorded that's why y'all really don't see him on my channel that's why y'all really don't see him in no videos because he likes to play the little playstation and be off in his own little world mind his own little business and i'm gonna give him that space like i'm not gonna make him record but for this 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 little girl here y'all I just don't understand how you go out to find a child with disability like well I do because if you only did it for the storyline that's why you did it you you made this little boy your whole brand like uh, your whole brand like yeah I quit like it was just something about this girl that made me stop watching her at first like I found her because it said something about my artistic child, my son with autism. Okay, I watch a few videos, and you really just complaining about his autism. You're not really even talking and educating people on your platform about autism. Whenever you do talk about the autism, like him sucking his thumb, knowing that he came to y'all sucking his thumb and pacifying himself, like that's how he soothed himself. Like how was that bothering you? He just now about to be four or just now have turned four. Like how was him sucking his thumb bothering you? How would you feel if somebody put some tape around your hands because you're doing something they don't like you doing? We had to sit here and look at your face every day, but do we put tape around our phone? No. Hold on, y'all. This is going to be a long video. Also, I want to point out, people are like, you know, they're, they're saying that they couldn't do it. And I'm saying the people that I've been watching, it's like, the, the people that I'm watching have not took their foot off their neck, like, as they should. But, you sat here and hand selected a kid with special needs. You said in your video, if he needed a wheelchair, we'd get it. Like, we wouldn't send him home and, uh, 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 and all this and all that, right? These people have the means to sit here and provide him the life that he had. Uh, with, these people have the means to sit here and to do for him anything that he needs. If I had close to a million subscribers... Julian and Jackson more than likely wouldn't go to daycare because I could just hire the staff and hire the therapist to come out here and help our kids, right? So it's not like the, it's not like it's me and Jason to a situation where we don't have the means or we don't have the our insurance is not good enough or whatever. Like they have the money, even if their insurance is not good enough for them to have this type of stuff. They have the money to pay somebody year, yearly salary to come out and help this child with like ABA therapy and stuff like that. So like I'm not here for it. And for people that don't do YouTube and that are not influencers, they have got a bunch of sponsorships solely because of this child so why don't you take some of his sponsored money that y'all have got from this little boy boy and actually put it towards him like they, they could have done that like and y'all it's companies out here that will sit here and more than likely with them being who they are will come out here and come out there and you know help him with ABA probably free of charge if they you know let if they sit here and shot the uh, company out or some stuff like that like told them oh well it's this company that I did that I were using and the therapist is this and they're, they're absolutely great we love them blah 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 this blah 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 that like bro it bro you can get anything sponsored nowadays with family channels like this like with their following and with their subscriber accounts that's how they was able to was the that's how he was able to get the laundry detergent brand that sponsored them to sponsor them. It's like pamper companies, diaper companies will sponsor them, soap companies will sponsor them. 
Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Autism Speaks wouldn't sponsor them. Like, it's, it's a lot of stuff out here that's disposable to them when they have dang near a million subscribers. Like, a lot of stuff that y'all think these celebrities is paying for, they're not paying for. And I know a lot of people are mad that they went to Bali or Bali after this happened. These places sometimes, like, that's why, that's why you have people like, uh, Dear and Ken, they'd be like, "Hey, we paid for this out of our pocket because we know that sponsors, these these hotels and resorts and stuff like that, will pay you to come out here to take pictures, to do Instagram posts, so other people can want to come out here and live like you live." So, like, let's come on, like, y'all, I'm I'm just not here for it. I'm tired of the excuses. What y'all did to this child was pure cruel and evil, and I'm glad that y'all rehoming him, and I hope that he rehoming like like he's really an animal. I'm glad that somebody else is going to take care of this child because clearly he was too good for y'all and clearly y'all was like in this y'all did not have the right attention uh, y'all did not have the right attentions for this little boy i talk about julian autism all the time well really not even all the time come think of it i talk about julian autism on this channel but i don't it, it's a line that you just don't cross it's just some stuff that you just don't do and yeah, I just, I just can't. I'm just. Also, I want to point out that I don't see nobody else pointing out in these reactions or the, the uh, I can't even call them reactions. I'm a part of title. It's a reaction, but a review. I don't know what they. The other videos that I have seen, nobody has even thought about the fact that you sent him back. Whether you send him back or not, it's during Corona season, bro. Like, coronavirus been going on for a while now. So, you sent him back during this epidemic, like this pan. You literally sat here and, like, this is literally one of the most dangerous times that you could sit here and adopt a child or send a child back to be adopted. Like, People are not even leaving that has to go to the grocery store and you really sat here and sent, and sent this child back or sent this child to a adoption agency. People are scared to go get milk, let alone a kid. Like, well, what are... What? And also, y'all, ooh, this video is going to be long. And I, I ain't even going to sit here and apologize. This video is going to be long because this is how I really feel about this thing. Saying that he's aggressive and he's abusive to the other kids that are bigger than him. Uh, oh my God. And like he, he's just doing so much to these other kids and blah, blah, blah. This blah, blah. Like, not, not to make an excuse, but I am going to make an excuse saying that he's a child. Um, Let's say you feel like, oh my God, I just cannot have you in my home anymore. You could have just hired someone to watch him overnight since, you know, that's too much work for you to be a parent and to be a mother and to make sure whatever it is that he's doing since you didn't want to sit here and disclose what he's doing um to make it a safe environment if you feel like your kid's safety or like is in danger or something like that like you could have did that ma'am like i don't get it and uh, and also i have noticed that somebody said on her channel that you know she sat here and made a whole video crying that he could never get in college college is not the nrb be all like uh, college bro you a whole nurse out here and you making youtube videos do you even do nursing work anymore so what does college really mean ma'am that sounds you sound you sound girl also with this whole little thing about um them faking tears if they didn't have tears and this this that and the third that people are talking about I, I heard that <laughs> we just we just <laughs> and that ugly cry stuff but I did not see not one tear on none of those clips I did not see not one tear and <laughs> this video like this 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 shouldn't even be like something that upsets me or upset someone that does not know this child personally but the fact that it's a child with special needs really grinds my gears y'all and like it is really sad like it hurt my feelings and i'm no i'm black as ever like i'm not related to them i'm not related to this child i'm that he was never in my home like and it hurt my feelings so just imagine how this kid 
really is going to feel trying to process that like Julian has autism y'all and when we come up he say mama daddy and run up to us with all the joy in the world and you, you like this kid still has feelings despite his disability so like that is just sad like and this is not even really I don't even know this child and the stuff like the stuff make my eyes water and the stuff is like sad to me and this is not even my child this is not even a kid that i adopted a kid that i fostered a kid that i know personally it's the fact that it's an innocent bystander like i i can't even fathom the words to describe this other than the fact that this is some evil stuff <laughs> and people are talking about some you know this is why i don't watch family channels stuff like this is why people are not going to be able to even put their kids on youtube here come soon because we already had the crap that happened with uh the little boy ryan that got youtube where he is now now that this is going on in a minute we're not even gonna be able to vlog our own kids like birthday parties talk about their updates somehow some people's gonna be like oh my god yes y'all not gonna be able to talk about that and, but like no it's my child and like it's my family it's really day in the life stuff like which is them but how people are exploding these kids like i'm not i can't even sit here and say that i would be mad like i would have to, i couldn't do nothing but understand why people because this is sick like this this literally like made me tear up and it's literally like enough to make you want to throw up like physically like bro what and then like uh, it's people that's like, oh, well, it took her, it shouldn't have took her six years, it shouldn't have took her, uh, not six years, it should have, she should have known within the first six years to the first year. No, my nigga, no, no, you, you shouldn't have went in and adopted this child. She, she, she shot this little boy as if he was an Apple Watch. Y'all know, y'all, well, y'all might get that later on, well, y'all will get that later on. I had a white Apple Watch, I sent it back for a black one. And then a black one wasn't the black one that I want. So we went back and got another uh, Apple Watch. Like, I shopped my Apple Watch and I returned it to Sander. With a whole watch. Not a whole kid. Like. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, anyway, you guys. I'm just coming in to do an outro. Because, per usual, I forgot to do an outro. And I really don't have nothing, like, good to say. Like, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram uh i don't have no twitter uh use those links listed down in the description subscribe to my husband channel uh j space tv uh hooked on artism i also have a beauty channel but i have not uploaded on there and i don't know how long just and like my whole technique is different now so i probably should but i probably won't no time soon but yeah um yeah, I really don't have, I, like, I, I'm in the loss for words, y'all. Like, I, I just, like, I, I have stopped watching this person's channel in the beginning, like, to begin with. Like, I was subscribed to her, and even though I subscribed to her, that's how much I even watched her channel. You know, when you subscribe to somebody and you actually watch their content, all of that stuff always get recommended to you. Like, it's always there recommended to you. I didn't even see that I was used to subscribe to her. And I just... I can just tell the fakeness and I can also tell like you you could just you 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 can just tell when someone's actually genuine and when someone is actually just doing this for a show and they whole channel change. Like my stuff on my channel is real raw and organic. Like I edit some stuff but some stuff I don't. I explain a lot of stuff. I will probably over explain a lot of stuff that be going on on my channel versus someone that just you know we have this perfect picture life and like I kind of get it to a degree just because anything it's because the internet won't they say they want you to be real but when you're real you're too real so it's just it's a mess but I can just tell that it's just not all white picket fences like she put out there and I, I me myself I don't like to watch those type of like family channels. I like to watch family channels that I can relate to. Like other than her complaining about how this little boy has autism and he's throwing a fit and how hard it is on her to have to deal with him and well, like no. I ain't talking about that real whining and complaining and stuff that you went out to go get. I'm just saying like far as 
real life like hey i went to the this place i went to the doctor and we went to and did this and we went and did that and like this person was rude and we got to we had to deal with this and there's no way in line and like just regular everyday life stuff like i don't know co-parenting and other stuff that's like real life real life like i like to watch those type of uh channels but anyway you guys i don't i try to be too long i hope you guys enjoy this video if you don't know who this person is, I doubt you would know because she literally sat here and took down all those videos off of her channel, probably because she had to, uh, legally, since legally he's not her son no more. Um, I don't, I don't got nothing. I don't even have anything positive to say about her. Like, nothing. And y'all know I never, this is, will be my first just negative video that I have done on my channel that's just flat out negative about another YouTuber. But, I mean, it is what it is. Like, it is what it is.